Mercy Lewis, what is that? Nothing to worry about. That is a mud map. What else have you got in there? You. Hello. Hello, Newt. I'll take it from here. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Fu Manchu, and you're probably saying, hey, Fu, where have you been lately? I don't know. Over there, probably. But still, I know it's been a while since my last review, but this one's a good one, because I know where all the fantastic beasts are and where to find them in today's review, because today's review will be on the following. Today's review will be on the Star Ace, Fantastic Beasts, and Where to Find Them. Newt Scamander, one six scale collectible action figure. Now, starting with the box, we have the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them movie logo, along with the Star Ace Company logo, and we've got the Newt figure standing in what looks like maybe the rubble of Jacob's apartment. I don't know. But man, this looks awesome. Turning the box and looking at the left side, we've got the Fantastic Beast logo again. We've got a picture of the Newt figure looking up with the city backdrop behind him. And then down here at the bottom, it says, My Favorite Movie Series. Well, how did you know this was my favorite movie series there, Star Ace? Jace, maybe they've got like some, you know, mind readers there, kind of like uh, Tina's sister, hubba hubba. Looking at the right side of the spine, we've got the Fantastic Beast logo, the cityscape again, and a different picture there of Newt holding his little bow truckle, and that is very cute indeed, man, this looks cool. Looking at the back of the box, yet again, we have the Fantastic Beast logo, and then down here we have a quote by Newt saying, you know, New York is considerably more interesting than I'd expected. Down here we've got a lot of gobbledygook and the backdrop, oh look, there's the bow truckle, he is so cute! And then over here, we've got one of those little moth things or whatever that were flittering around in the movie. That's one of the things that got out. And then what looks like maybe the background of the, what, Makuza, or how do you say that? The, um, the American, I don't know, Ministry of Magic, I guess. That's pretty cool. Now, this Fantastic Beast movie has something in common with the very first Harry Potter movie for me. Now, when I saw the first Harry Potter movie, I hadn't yet read the book. And it was only after I'd seen the movie that I went back and I read the book. Now, with the subsequent movies that came out for Harry Potter, there was enough time in between while they were making the movies that I got to go back and read the other books before the movies came out. So I would read them to my wife whenever we were going somewhere, and then when the movies came out, we got to talk about, you know, what they didn't put in the movie, what they changed, stuff like that. And that's really cool. Now, with this Fantastic Beast movie, I've seen the movie, but I haven't yet read the book. Now, I want to go back and read the book. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet, but I do plan on it. Now, when I I found out that Star Ace made a Newt figure. Oh, I had to have it. It looks so awesome indeed. Oh, and as I was recording that last little bit, I saw a little shadow fly over Newt's head there, and I looked down on the ground, and I noticed this little guy here flew in. It's like he knows Newt's in the area, because Newt attracts these little guys. This is like a frog bug or something, man. He wants inside your suitcase, Newt. Let him in your suitcase. And he's gone. Back to the review. Anyways, yep, this looks very awesome indeed, and I really hope that Star Ace makes some more figures from the Fantastic Beast movie, uh, and especially since there's a second movie coming out soon. I need to get to reading those books, man. But, you know, seriously, I hope they make some more because there's at least three other good guys that they could make. That would be so awesome indeed, and I really, really, really want a Grindelwald. That would be cool. But you know what? Today's review is not about them. Today's review is about old Newt here, even though his family calls him Rebecca, and if you get that, you're always in my cool book. Anyways, you've got this right here on the box, and if you look carefully, there's a little flap here at the top, and when you open it up, this bottom here in the middle is closed with Velcro, and when you open it up, you can see the figure inside, and man, that looks awesome. Not only does that look even better than the picture on the front, that you can see all those accessories, everything. This looks amazing. Now, looking at the opposite side, on the inside of the flap, you've got a picture of the city there with the Thunderbird. I think that's what it was called. I'm not 100%. I don't know all of these creatures' names. And there's a little quote there by Newt saying, I need to get going. Find everyone who's escaped before they get hurt. And then down here, you've got his little suitcase, and that is awesome. And this lady back here, she's oblivious. She doesn't know what's going on at all. Look up, lady. Jeez, you're missing everything. But yeah, this figure looks awesome, and man, those accessories are so cool, and I cannot wait to see this thing open, so I say we waste no more time, and I say we open it! So, here's the figure's tray removed from the box, and as you can see, you can see the accessories a lot better like this, and man, oh man, do they look awesome. Now, all of the accessories are inside of this tray along with the figure, except for, right here, he actually came with a stand in two pieces that's actually just 
tossed inside behind the tray, you know, sliding around loose in there. And that's kind of weird. It's almost like it was thrown in as an afterthought. But I'm not going to complain because I love getting stands, especially when they've got the little movie logos and stuff like that on it. That is awesome. Now, the only other thing that was thrown in behind the tray was this little instruction sheet right here, and it's taped down behind the bubble. But man, oh man, this looks awesome, and I can't wait to see him standing up. So let's stand him up, shall we? Now, after you remove Newt from the plastic tray, you'll notice that behind him, there's this little, uh, treat. And if you eat that, yeah, you'll probably see creatures like that, too. So, uh, yeah, stay away from that stuff, man, because I don't even know if these creatures really existed in the movie. It was probably just Newt tripping out or something like that. So, yeah, stay away from that. It's dangerous. So, here's Newt fresh out of the package. Now, first impressions. Holy cow, that likeness is amazing. They really captured his look. His hair, everything, that looks so good. And I have to say, I've watched a lot of reviews on this figure, and just looking at the, you know, the picture on the box and everything like that, I have to say that in person, this head is even better than what you see. I mean, when you see it in the reviews and stuff, his teeth look kind of funny and stuff like that, but you know what? This looks spot on, and his teeth look amazing. This is very cool. Now, one of the other things I noticed is this body is very, very thin thick and sturdy feeling. Very cool. Plus, his jacket is super soft, man. It's almost like a suede leather or something. That is very cool. And the material is super thick, too. But yeah, this is awesome indeed. And one of the things that I noticed, you'll notice he's not on the stand. It's because I didn't put it together because the stand has one of those, like, waist grabber things, and I just use one of the crotch grabbers to hold him up better. But yeah, I will be putting him on that. I just haven't yet. Now, one of the things I was wondering about is his boots. I was like, did they make them the way he, you know, looks in the way they look in the movie? Because since his uh, pant legs are covering up the top of them, I couldn't tell if they were the taller boots with the buckles. And I'm very happy to report that they are, and they look awesome. Because in most of the movie, it looked like his pant legs were actually tucked inside of his tall boots. So that's cool. It looks like you could go with either look. Yeah, this is cool. Now, like I said, this outfit is amazing. I did notice a few little differences. Like, in the movie, he actually has some little gold-like stripes or something above his pockets or something like that. It actually matches the material on the back of his collar. And I did notice here on his vest, he's missing his little chain with the little watch fob thing. So, yeah, that kind of stinks, but oh well, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, if you flip the figure around and look at him from behind, and once you pop his collar... You'll see that that little detail of the different material is there, and that is very cool. Now, I think in the movie, it was just the lower part of the collar, not the top part, too. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about that, because at least they got it right, and that is very cool. Now, as I said, this jacket is amazing, super soft, and it feels like a real coat shrunk down. This is so cool indeed. And as cool as it looks just like this, there's actually an extra costume piece to add to it. You've got down here his little Hufflepuff colored scarf, and that is amazing. It looks like a real scarf, man. This is so cool. The knit is so small, and it actually looks weathered, and that is amazing. So, yeah, he's going to look really cool wearing this. Now, in the movie, he didn't wear it very much. I think he wore it at the very end, and that's it. I don't remember him wearing it throughout the whole movie. It's just like his boots, man. His boots were, like different all the time so it's like were they tucked in were they untucked so that is very cool indeed but yeah i say we waste no more time and look at this guy up close what do you say so here we go with a super duper close-up look and starting with his vest you can see his button there and the material that the vest is made out of now working our way down here as i said there's supposed to be a chain and a little fob but that's missing but that's okay over here if you look carefully underneath the blue jacket you'll see that he has a tweed suit jacket underneath there and that is very cool indeed and if you move the blue coat out of the way you can see that the tweed jacket has buttons and pockets and everything and that is awesome now, speaking of the blue coat, if you look carefully, man, this material is awesome. Like I said, it feels like a very soft suede leather or something. It is very cool indeed. And if you look carefully, too, you'll notice that underneath the pockets, it actually has more of an orange material, and that is very cool as well. Now, like I said, there's a few designs that are missing, like right there. It's supposed to have like a gold, you know, stripe, I guess. And then up here, he's got like a little... uh a uh, gold uh, pocket or something that kind of goes sideways or up and down. I don't know. It's kind of an, at an angle, uh, but that's missing. Now, if you work your way over here to his uh, shirt, you can see that he has a little bow tie. Now, I thought the movie, the bow tie was blue, but I'm not 100%. Uh, that looks good enough for me. Working our way up to his face, and check out that mouth. 
They made his teeth 100% perfect. That is so cool. And his lips are painted perfectly, man. They look like real lips. I mean, that is so cool. And he's got all the, the wrinkling and stuff around his mouth there. He's got, like, splotchy paint and stuff. That looks so cool. It makes it look like real skin. And look at his eyes. That is so cool. Now, the way they're painted, it almost looks like he's got, like, a wagon wheel design or something inside of his eyes. But you know what? Those eyes look perfect when you're looking at it with the naked eye. I mean, not magnified like this. His eyebrows look amazing. Look at the little crow's feet around his eyes there. Yeah, this is so cool. And, uh, you know, Eddie Redmayne has some soft features about his face and stuff. And, I mean, they captured everything about him. This is so awesome. And look at his hair. This hair looks amazing. Now, I think this figure might have benefited for having real hair, you know, like a Barbie doll, you know, all, all combed over like this and stuff. But honestly, this sculpt is so cool looking. I absolutely love it. Now, turning the figure to the side and getting a better look at his hair here, you can see how the sculpt is, and that looks amazing. You got his ear right there. And just look at this profile. I mean, they nailed Eddie Redmayne's looks. So that is so cool indeed. Now, you can see he's got the articulation joint underneath the jawline, and you've got the speckling up the neck. There's his collar yet again, and as I said, it's got a different color underneath. Working our way down his jacket, it's just a plain jacket. There's no real details down it, except for these cuffs right here. Then you've got his hands that have the speckling and everything, and that is so cool. Now, both of his hands that the figure comes out of the package wearing are actually relaxed hands, but look at that sculpt. That looks so amazing. Now, turning the figure to the right, and check out that hair sculpt, man. That looks so cool. I love those little strands there on top that are kind of, like, sticking out and stuff. That looks so cool. Yeah, this figure looks amazing. I, I don't know how they could have done a better job, seriously. And then if you work your way down here, you can see all the way down here, past his cuff, which is cool. And you can see his other, his tweed jacket there poking out underneath. That is very cool. And you can see his right relaxed hand as well. One of the details that I like are the fingernails. I mean, they really nailed these fingernails. That looks so cool. Now, working our way over here, you can see that underneath his vest, you can see his tweed pants right there. Now, I just checked. He's not wearing a belt. He just has these tweed pants. Working our way all the way down here to the bottom, and you can see these awesome-looking boots, and that is cool. Now, there doesn't appear to be any real weathering on the boots. They don't look dirty or anything like that, aside from that little fuzz. But they are shaded if you look carefully. It's not just a flat brown. Oh, look, there is some weathering there on the sole, and that is cool. So, yeah, it's very subtle, but it's on the very bottom of the shoe like a real shoe would be, and that is cool. And speaking of the sole, check it out. If you ever wanted to know what Newt's shoes look like, that's what they look like. And look, they're made in Bangladesh. And I'm almost positive that at least one creature in his suitcase is from Bangladesh, and that is cool. Check out his hair there. That looks so amazing. You got more speckling down his neck. The back of his coat here, you can see the stitching, and that looks cool. Now, it's very plain until you get down here to the little uh, belt here, which is buttoned, and that is cool. And then all the way down here, you've got his tweed pants and his shoes yet again. Now, going back to the head sculpt, I cannot get over just how amazing this looks. I mean, Star Ace nailed Eddie Redmayne as Newt. I mean, this looks so good. And like I said, I watched a lot of reviews on this figure before I got it, and in every review, it looked good. But having it in hand, oh man, it is awesome. Now, moving on to his accessories, as you can see, he also includes a left hand for holding the suitcase. And over here, he comes with a right hand for holding his wand. And as you can see, it's got the speckling and everything. That is so cool. And these will come in handy because, like I said, that the figure came equipped with relaxed hands. And there's not a whole lot you can do with those. Now, what would he be without his wand? And as you can see there, it looks like an old paintbrush handle or something like that. And that is very cool indeed. Now, his wand... Oh, it moved. Ah, oh, it's got magic powers! Now, if you look carefully there on the end, you can see that Newt's wand is actually hollow on the inside, and that is very cool indeed. Now, I was afraid that this would be really fragile and stuff like that, but it's a lot thicker and bigger than I thought it would be, so that is very cool. I was afraid that it would break right out of the box, and that is awesome! Next up, we have his alchemy egg, and there you go. It's an egg, and it's silver, and what more is there to say? Now, you might be saying, hey, how'd you get it to stand up like that? Well... As you can see, it's almost got like a little counterbalance or something there at the bottom, and that's pretty cool, so no magic necessary to make it stand up like that. Next up, we have his most cutest and tiniest of accessories, the Bow Truckle. Wasn't his name Pickett? I'm not 100%, but check him out. Man, this is painted so good. I mean, the way... I mean, it looks like a little plant. 
Doesn't it? It's so cute. Look at his little eyes. You can see his little mouth. Everything about him is so cool. Now, flipping him around, you can see the way he's painted there. And man, that looks so cool. He's got three little legs. Ah, oh, I love this little thing. And he's going to look so cute standing on Newt's shoulder or in his pocket. That is awesome. Next up, we have the Demigeist. And as you can see there, he looks amazing. Now, the only thing that sucks about this figure is you just get his head. So, yeah, now, he would be pretty big compared to Newt. Now, they didn't give you the whole figure. They just gave his head, but you'll find out why later. But, yeah, I'd say he's painted perfectly. I mean, he looks good. I mean, they did a great job. And aside from giving him a body that you could pop this head on, that'd be the only thing to make it better. Now, flipping the head around to look at his hair sculpt, and yeah, this hair is sculpted very, very well indeed, and it just makes me wish that we had have gotten a whole figure. Now, along that same category, we have a Niffler, and look at him, he looks like he's climbing out of something, doesn't he? But if you look carefully, he's only half a figure, too. Now, that kind of sucks, but you know what? It gets better in a minute. Now, this Niffler is actually painted very, very well, and this little guy stole the movie, in my opinion. He's so cute! But yeah, this looks so amazing. Now, turning him around, and yeah, this is so cool. Now, these little accessories alone make this, you know, figure worth getting. I mean, not only are you getting Newt, but you're getting some of his creatures, and yeah, this is so cool. Now, if you lay the Niffler on his side and look underneath, you'll see that he's hollow, almost like a finger puppet. That's kind of cool, so if you have tiny little fingers, yeah, you can probably put him in there and use him as a Niffler finger puppet. Now, unlike the Demigeist, if you lay him down on his side, you'll see that you can't use him as a finger puppet. Nope, but that's still pretty cool. Now, where I said earlier that the Demigeist did not include a full body, check this out. This set actually includes a full-bodied Niffler, and he's so cute! Now, as you can see, he's actually holding his freshly stolen pearls right there, and this little guy was getting out all the time and stealing stuff. Now, I think in the movie, Newt only had one Niffler, so I don't know if you would pose the half-Niffler and this full-bodied one together, but why not? I mean, seriously, he's not the last of his species, so that would be pretty cool indeed. Now, turning the Niffler around to look at him from behind, and check him out, man. This sculpt is amazing, and the paint job is, too, and he's got a cute little tail there. Oh, this creature was so cute in the movie, and I absolutely love it. Next up, we have Newt's scarf, and check out the knit. I mean, this scarf feels like a real scarf. It looks like a real scarf. It actually looks like it's, you know, dirtied up and stuff, too. I don't know. That looks so amazing, man. This looks like an old scarf from when he was actually in Hogwarts. And that is so cool looking. Yeah, I love it. And this is going to look so good on him. Last up, we have his most important accessory, his suitcase. Now, look at the texture there. It looks like old leather. You got his little buckles and stuff like that. The little keyhole. That is so amazing. Yeah, they did a great job on this. You've got his handle here. And that is so cool. Over here, you've got the little lock and stuff. Now, it doesn't have the little muggle-worthy thing that pops up, but hey, it's too small for that, man. This looks so cool indeed. And when you open it up, on the inside, you can see the lining, and that is so cool. Look at how it's painted, man. That is so cool. Now, the inside of it, as you can see, has foam. Not bubbles. It kind of looks like bubbles from here. But yeah, there's foam inside there when you first open it up. And when you remove the foam... You will find what we never saw in the movie, how it looks to look down inside of the suitcase, and that is so cool indeed. You've got like an energy right there, that looks really cool indeed, and then through there there's like a sticker or something that looks like you can see down inside there, and that is so awesome indeed. But like I said, we never got this view. We never saw like what a character look, you know, saw inside there when he looked inside the suitcase. That is cool. Now, looking at the suitcase without the magnifier thing on, check this out, man. That is so neat indeed. You can look down in there. Yeah, that is a nice touch. Now, you might be wondering, well, why did it come with the little half-animal pieces? Well, they look really cool posed like they're coming out of the suitcase. That is amazing. And even though we didn't get a full Demigeist figurine, guess what? It sure looks like he's in there, doesn't it? And just look how cute they all three look together. Oh, man, I absolutely love it. Like I said, getting this figure is awesome on its own. But actually getting the little animals, too, yeah, that makes this a must-get if you're a fan of that movie because this is so amazing. Or just the books. I mean, if you're just a fan of the character, this is so cool, and I absolutely highly recommend it. 
So, there's my review of the Star Ace 1 6 scale Newt Scamander figure from the movie Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And you know what? This figure set is awesome, and I absolutely love the inclusion. I mean, they could have just made it with a suitcase where you can't even open it and stuff like that, but no, they made creatures everything and you know what would be really awesome is if they went back and made a creature pack to include i mean all the different creatures like maybe an alchemy egg opening up with a little you know alchemy creature and stuff like that inside of it oh man that would be cool a full demigeist i mean that'd be so cool man but with the new movie the second movie coming out soon maybe they'll do that maybe they'll make some more figures from it you know as long as i don't even know if they need to make a new newt because this one is so good and i don't think his outfit changes into the second movie so yeah this is so cool and come on star ace make some more because this was the very first star ace figure i ever got and i'm one thousand percent happy with it so until next time tune in for more foo reviews <laughs> hey this is nolan north you don't want to miss foo reviews